I went to a garage sale recently and purchased a whole room of plush without knowing exactly which plush I was getting. With thousands of plush to choose from, surely there's got to be some big money bolos in here, right? Hi, my name is Heather and I'm an online reseller. I sell on websites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. If you are new to my channel, I recently went to a garage sale and picked up a whole bunch of plush and I didn't really get to go through them when I bought them and so it's a big mystery to me what is inside. If you want to find out more about this crazy haul, you can click on the link above and that will take you to the video where I went and I picked up all these items. So we are currently storing all the items in the garage of our investment property. This house we actually bought to rent, but because the mortgage went up too high with all the interest rates rising, we decided to sell it instead. Unfortunately, that's not really working out so well either, so we may have to just rent it for a loss. But yeah, until that happens, we are storing it all in this garage because we do not have the space in our own garage. So I've been coming over every couple of days and trying to get some of this stuff into the wash so that I can take it over to our house and have it clean because I do not want this stuff in my house until it is clean. So today we're going to be going through this, uh, I believe it's called Top Quality Teddy Bears and Brand Articulated is what they've got on this bin to see what needs washed or just what I think isn't worth it to sell on eBay automatically. I haven't been looking everything up when I wash it. I just only pull out the good quality stuff that's in good condition. And then the rest of the items I've just been tossing over here into these bins that will eventually go to Goodwill. So I was actually a little excited when I opened up this bin to see this tag up on the top. Burberry is a pretty expensive brand, so I was pretty excited to look this up. And it does happen to have its tag on it. Unfortunately, I looked these up and there's only like, I don't know, a handful of them on eBay and they're not priced very high. And unfortunately, there's absolutely no solds for this guy. Sad day. Off to the donate pile he goes. So we've got a Steinbach 1989 teddy bear. Unfortunately, with a lot of these teddy bears, they're just way too shaggy. If I wash these, they're going to come out super matted. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them. I think maybe I might try a steamer or maybe just putting them in a bag in the dryer. But yeah, if they still have a little bit of a smell, I'm not sure how that's going to help that either. But I think we're going to hold on to that one and look that guy up. We've got Hellsberg Diamonds. You know, I assume with usually these things that people pick up kind of as a touristy kind of thing. I've seen a lot of like Disney Cruise Line, you know, like things that people pick up on trips in the Bahamas or things like that. And a lot of times those really aren't worth anything. People get them on their trip, but they don't want them later. And I'm assuming that this being a diamond store would be similar, but we'll also see about looking him up. Wow, this one is heavy. This is Heritage Collection by Gans. His fur just doesn't seem super amazing to me. So I'm thinking probably not. He is jointed. But yeah, maybe a little too much hair for me. Got a gunned bear with a present. It does have its tag. And this is another one. This is Zales, the diamond store. Maybe because it's gunned, we'll try. Here's another one that's fur is pretty matted down already, it feels like. This is the Heritage Collection with Gans. He's got a little frog with him. This is a Cheesecake Factory teddy bear. I don't know if you remember in the, one of the previous videos, but we had one that was a Santa Claus teddy bear from Cheesecake Factory and it wasn't worth anything. So the odds are that this one probably isn't as well. I'll look some of these up and let you know after I've gone through them. <laughs> this is really cute. This is by Barely People. I've never heard of that. My odds are that it's probably not worth much. Big Green Teddy Bear by Kids Preferred. This actually looks a lot like the Beanie Buddies that Ty does, but not this one, I guess. This is Rosie from Pickford Bears. This obviously does not look great, but sometimes with these bears, this is kind of how they were intended to look. I think it's probably going to be a pass for me. This is the brand Softings. It does look vintage, so it might be worth it. This is an Oriental Trading Company teddy bear. This is actually a really heavy bear. Usually Oriental Trading Company stuff is pretty flimsy. I didn't know that they did full-on teddy bears, but it seems decent quality. 
This is by Raspberry. The name is Sandy. It's a little dog. This is a cute little teddy bear. It's by Michael's, like the craft store. So my guess is it's probably not worth it, but you never know. Just a gunned teddy bear. This one's gunned, but it has gook all over the back of its head. So this one is definitely a no-go. Got an Aeropostle teddy bear. This might be good. So we have this gunned teddy bear. This guy is from 1983. It looks like he may have had a bow around his neck. And when you look at the comps, it does look like there's some with red bows. But there are plenty that we're selling without the bow. So <clears throat> hopefully this guy will. It looks like there are prices for him all over the place. So I'm guessing he'll sell. But for how much? I don't really know. We've got this Vermont teddy bear with her nice little shawl sweater here. Um, there is only like one or two of this listed. There is one that sold on a best offer, but the original price was not very high. I think it was only like $14. So maybe on her. We've got this little Hallmark Basil Bear. This guy is really soft. These are selling, but it looks like they're selling in like the 11 to $15 range. We got this Fiesta Foo Bears Luck Bear. It looks like this was from 2000. Unfortunately, there are no solds for this guy. There's six of them currently listed and they're listed from six to $15, so not very promising. We've got this really cute bear set. It's got the little baby and it's got this little gift box that opens up. There is only a couple of these listed as well. And there is only one that sold and it sold on a best offer as well, but really sweet. We've got this brass button Cody bear. It looks like there's only one of him listed that doesn't have clothes. It seems to me from all the listings that he was probably meant to have clothes because there's only like one on there that doesn't have clothes on it. So probably not a good deal for him. And what do you know? Here's that exact same bear, except for this one has the clothes. And if you notice, his hat up on the top, this one looks like it has this ring of where this cowboy hat would have been. So I'll probably hang on to this one and we'll probably have to toss this one. Got another brass buttons bear, but this one has some yellowing right here on the floral uh, scarf. I'm not sure exactly, exactly what you want to call that, but my guess is that this is probably not worth it to try to glean. This little teddy bear is by Keel Toys, which I've never heard of. It's got the... UK flag and a heart on the bottom. Got a Ron John surf shop teddy bear. This store is really popular here in Florida. I've never been there, but you see bumper stickers all the time or little window clings with it on people's windows when you're driving around here. We got this cute little Nat and Jewels, which is usually a brand that does baby toys. And this is really soft. So that may have been the intention for this one. And it does have its tag. So that is promising. Got this little teddy bear, but unfortunately his tags were cut off and it looks like there was also something meant to be right here because there's two little stubs of, I don't even know what, sticking out of his chest. So he's definitely gonna be a no-go. This is a rest teddy bear, but he is really dirty. I'm not really crazy about these shaggy kind of stuffed animals, but yeah, if you can see back on his arm right there, he's pretty dirty. Another shaggy one. His bow's undone and his tag strangely is on his arm and it's kind of hard to read. So I think he's gonna be a no-go as well. <laughs> this cute little rust bear holding a teddy bear who's also holding a teddy bear. That's really cute. Looks like her name is Marmy. This is just a basic rust teddy bear. His ear is a little dirty up here, so I think that he's probably gonna need washed. Hopefully his fluff will hold up and it won't get matted down. We've got a Barrington collection bear. This one's got little glasses and a coat. She's actually on a stand. I don't know that much of these things that sell on stands, you know, which was popular back in the day and you know, the nineties that they really sell for all that much currently. I don't think people collect that kind of stuff like they used to, but maybe. Got a Universal Studios, this cool dude with his sunglasses. It's got a film crew jacket. I could be wrong. I'm guessing these were probably produced in large quantities, so he's probably not worth much. We've got this soft gunned teddy bear. He does have this scarf that maybe I'll be able to identify him with. Otherwise, there's so many gun teddy bears that sometimes they can be really hard. Oh look, his feet say hug me. 
So that also might make it easier, but he's really soft and plush. This is a progressive plush. This guy is pretty teeny, but maybe. This guy is even teenier. This is a Cottage Collectibles. Does have this little quilt with this cute little rocking horse on the bottom of it. Yeah, I'm not really sure about this guy. He is pretty little. This little navigator bear is by Green Pond Group. I've never heard of that. Have any of you heard of it? He does look like he has a couple of little scratches in his helmet, so we're probably gonna pass on him. This is the Barrington collection. Unfortunately, again, she is really dirty. I bet she was really popular when all of that Apple Kitchen stuff was really popular. Do you guys remember that? Around the 2000s. Another Barrington collection. This one's got a little heart pillow with embroidery on it. This is definitely vintage. This is Paula Company. It's got this cute little block. Know how much I love you? This much. This little teddy bear on it, but you can tell the teddy bear is fairly old. Got this cute little Russ fishing bear. He's got his little pole and his fishing net. This is Heads and Tails by Gun. This is Nurse Hope. She's got her little scrubs on. Yeah, I don't know about this guy. Looks like he's Bumps by Russ Berry, but he kind of has brown all around the edges. Can you see that? I don't know if that was intentional or if he's dirty. I guess I could look it up and see, but he's got these little skis. Got a Russ Shining Stars Bear. This is actually new to me, but I do have a couple of these that I've come across so far. They're really cute, but it does seem like there's a lot of them. They are really cute, so I'll have to look this guy up. Got this Patriotic Barrington Collection Bear. Again, she's got another little teddy bear with her. This is another one of those material shag furry guys that I am not crazy about, and he has no tag. He kind of looks like the Barrington Boys Bears kind of stuff, but he's probably gonna go. This is a 2000 Hug Fun is the brand. He's got his little, I guess, party hat. Maybe it's a winter hat and sweater. A little gunned basic bear. Like I said before, these are really hard to find if you don't have very many description words to find them. This guy does say 1983 to 1985. So maybe I might be able to find it. Got a rest bears from the past. Cottage Collectibles Ramona, but this one is really matted. I don't know if you can really see that, but yeah, she's matted. Got this Vermont teddy bear. She's got a little A plus on her jumper here. So maybe this is meant for like a teacher. This one's kind of got a patriotic vibe. This is bears from the past. Got another one on a stand. This is the Barrington collection. But again, she's got a little bit of yellowing spots. She's got this cute pansy up here. April showers bring May flowers. Another Vermont teddy bear. This one just says parks. Not really sure what that means. This is by Gund and it's dated 1990. It does have this little heart on here, which kind of looks like the breast cancer uh, ribbon, but not. So I'm not sure if that's what it was going for. Or... Yeah, you see right here, it says, this one I guess says 1993. The tag on the back says 1990. It says Daisy by Russ, kind of cute. This is Russ Berry and this is Millennium Teddy Bear, but he's kind of seen better days. His ribbon's kind of worn. He does have this little 2000 button up here, but yeah, his fur is pretty matted. This is the Maximilian collection, this cute little golf bear with his little golf clubs. This teddy bear is by Fossil. His scarf is a little worn, but Fossil is a good brand, so he might be worth something. A Barrington collection with a little bow in her hair. Hard Rock Cafe. And this is Bialowski Bear by Gund. Says, save the bears on the chest. So I looked up the Bialowski Bear and it does look like these are selling. There's one that sold for about 20, it looks like. This Barrington collection bear, I looked up and there is none of her available at all. If you open up the tag on the inside, it says that her name is Ava the Gardener. So it's possible when I tried looking it up by April showers, there was another bear that is Barrington that stands up like this that sold for 50, but it had a pink dress on. So maybe that one might be worth something good. And then I also looked up this fossil bear and unfortunately he's not really worth much and isn't selling. There were no solds and the comps were kind of all over the place for him. These are some of the other things that I've found as I've been going through finding things to wash that I didn't want, 
And then of course the bears that we were just talking about. And then we have all of these ones that I think that we might try. I think that I could probably get at least $10 for most of these. How long it'll take is another question. But I also wanted to show you, this is some of the other stuff that I have been going through. This is all stuff that needs to go through the dryer at some point. I am planning on putting all of the bears through the dryer. I don't do the bears in the washer because usually their hair gets really matted if you do that. Some plush, and I'll say really most plush, fares fine in the washer and dryer, but some of it, it just gets really matted. Anyway, I did want to show you this teddy bear right here, which I thought was really interesting. This guy is totally made with mink fur. I mean, like all of these little fibers, it feels just like an animal. Like it's almost a little gross to feel, to be completely honest, because it's so slick. But yeah, pretty crazy, right? So that's it for today. I have been able to get about 150 of these listings up on eBay so far. I still have a lot to go. I have a huge death pile now in my storage room. And yeah, we've got people coming to town for Easter. So I've got a lot of work to do, but I would really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe. It definitely helps my channel to grow. I hope that you are having a great spring and I hope to see you in the next one.